Somebody had asked me about this zooming background and where to find it in Create Studio. I had this in my bobblehead video. And it made me think just to make a very quick video, hopefully quick, just to show you that there's different ways and different effects um, in Create Studio that you can use to just make some motion in the background that is that can add to your video that aren't videos. Um, we we have plenty of video ones in here, of course. But here, I just took from backgrounds. I went into the bobblehead and brought in that bit background. I selected it and I just zoomed it out to the full canvas. Then I just added an animation of zoom, uh, well, scale, sorry. I grabbed the keyframe to the end. I'm gonna leave a little room in case I need it, but you can always move it after. And at the end, I just zoomed it up. There you go pretty easy. Then I thought, I didn't do this before, but as I was thinking about it, then I just made it zoom down. So that is the same animation, except the end keyframe, let me move this a little, the end keyframe is was at 100, so it fits the full screen, the canvas, and the first keyframe was higher. And that's how I made the zoom out. You can also use a number of the color effects if you want to change it from the blue, because all that was available in here was the blue circle, and maybe you want a different color. So what I did with this one is I just brought in the color correction. Let me just move this over a little so we can see all of the options. Check click on color correction, you can work on the brightness, you can work on contrast, you can do saturation so you can change it to other colors if you really want it wild, the gamma, so you can change that blue background to anything that you want and do the same thing. So there's three things that you can do. This is not in Create Studio, but I did find it in um, our stock. I can't remember if it was from Pixabay or, or, um, there it is. Yep. So it was in Pixabay. And what I did here is I just used a very gentle in and out motion. So let me show you what that one is. All I did is I I got to go to my projects. Is I brought this over. Then I went, it's selected. So I went to motion, I went to loop, and then I just use scale in and out. And I don't, re I can look, I don't remember exactly which settings I used, but I know that they were pretty low. So I think I had a like two loops maybe, and I just put a very subtle motion. Let's try two. And it can go in and out. You also could go out and in. And you can change the out to be a little bit more, and then your number of loops. If you wanted to go a little faster, you could do that. I don't like that. I think I liked it more subtle if I were to use that. This one, I'm not too through. I don't love this one, but I thought I would still leave it in here. And this is also where I used one of our effects from here. And what I did on this one, is you can always check it by going to effects and it was the wave but i have a better wave for you after this but if you like it's a little glitchy effect you can also get the glitch effect um, if you want to do that we can turn off the wave effect and you can have a glitch effect and again you can change all these different variables on how many shifts 
the strength of it, the rotation of the RGB, all of these, you can animate it coming in and then it will be the typical. You can also animate it so it is how it's supposed to look and then it glitches out. I don't know. Ooh, maybe, maybe some of you will like that. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> um, this one, I did a much more subtle one. So this had turbulence. And here you can actually preview what it looks like. So I have it kind of low speed. You can have it as a higher speed. And it can move. I think I like this kind of effect more than the glitch or the turbulence. But I think it completely depends on what you might want. Now this one was fun. This one was kind of fun. It made me think of photo vibrance where we can make animation out of images. But here I just used the wave effect at a very low effect and you can see the, let me bring this out a little bit more so I can play it longer. You can see the boat and the, and the water moving. You can see the clouds moving a little bit. I will show you what that effect is. It's the wave and I had it at a very low speed and height. If I moved it higher, that certainly doesn't look realistic, right? So um, now I think I can't get it back. I forget what I had. Did I have like one? So it just is very subtle. It does move the clouds. If you don't want to move the clouds, I actually did take another. I just duplicated the image. Oh, here, I'll do it. I just duplicated, selected and duplicated the image, went to effects and got rid of the wave. Then I clicked on it. I detached the mask. And then I just brought it up. I think I may have actually, um, no, it doesn't. I was thinking I made it a little bigger because I think it looks like I'm going to cut off the clouds. But this way, the water will move, but the clouds don't. So you can kind of do it either way that you want or, or none of them, <laughs> whatever you want to do. But I thought that that actually did a, did a kind of nice uh, motion. I did, as you can see here, I tried a few different videos. The sand didn't work at all. Um, this boat, it shimmered too much when I tried it. So when I tried to do wave on this, it moved the boat too much. It worked on this one because the boat was so small. But if I put wave on this one, even if it's down really low, it gives that kind of effect. Now, if you want that kind of dreamy effect, you could do that. But I didn't think that that worked well with what I wanted to show, and this one did. So there's a few ideas if you want to just experiment with all of these different effects. The glitch, you have turbulence, you have jitter. I couldn't find a good way to use that. Um, you have the wave and you have a twirl. Have fun. Oh, and all of your different um, motions that you can practice with the loop. You have position, you have scale, you have fade, um, rotation, and skew. And of course, you can make some of these with all different elements. If you want to have, say, polka dots, you could make all these circles and you could animate them. But these are quick and easy ways that you might be able to find a fun way to make your background a little active for your scene. Have fun.